Right. So uh, as you can see, we have a section A, su subjectives, the circle, circle one, okay, A, B, C, D. Uh, we have uh, chapter one, set one, chapter one, set two, chapter two, set one, chapter two, set two. Lah. So basically, we have four sets. Those are the pages. You help yourself on that, okay? Um, try on your own. Answers will be provided in the, in the website in the same place where you find the seminar link okay you will click there is this tab says uh, seminar answer or something like that you click on that that will lead you to google drive you can download all the answer sheets okay um, maybe maybe middle of next week you can try yeah all right then we have section b and c so b and c is writing lah. okay a is circle circle lah. so b is writing c is also writing but c is a longer question more marks maybe like uh in total, probably like a 10 marks of whole question, but a lot of question. There's a last few question uh, for section C. So section B, maybe four to five question, normal answering. Okay. Not very long question, but C will be longer question. Okay. Can, can. All right. Cool. So that's how your format is like roughly the every, every school kind of different, uh, a bit of amount of question. So, but that's the general idea. So today I will focusing on your B and C. I would like you to go to set one. Please turn to 13. No answer. Can share link later. Nicholas, I was saying the answer sheet will be posted in the link. Probably meet next week. You can try next week and click the website in the link and it will bring you to your Google Drive to download. Not now. Okay. All right. So just go to the website, same website where you find the seminar link and all that. There will be a tab saying, uh, uh, saying, 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 I think I forgot the sentence, but I think it's like answer or something like that. Okay, cool. So page 13, ladies and gentlemen. So let me go to page 13. Okay. And also just to mention to you today, we will be focusing on more on chapter one and chapter two exercises. Okay. Uh, through, uh, three, three recently we have just did. So uh, because there's only two hours, so we couldn't stuff too much things in. So we're only focusing on chapter one and chapter two. Okay. Four we are doing at the moment in our class. Uh, three, we just had a few weeks ago. Okay. Hence we are focusing back to something old. Okay, so you can see like section B, right? Uh, okay, la, short question, la, not, not like long, long one. La, okay, shorter questions, right? Um, hence, I think I would like to start with question number 317, actually 17. I will choose specific questions to do with you, la, so I will be jumping here and there. Okay, so you may go to question three. At the same time, have your short notes on your site for chapter two, so you can find out. So this is form one, chapter two. There's only a few chapters. Uh, it's good that you can recognize which chapter, hence you can focus on the correct uh, answers, yeah. Okay, this is uh, obviously about animal cells. So we want to look for the parts of animal cell. Well, I assume at this point of time, right, you should be quite good at labeling la, right? Okay, oh. so uh, th this is not something very difficult, something very basic. If you feel that you couldn't name all of them without looking at the notes, then that means you need to put some effort in memorizing the names. So we do it together today. For those who okay, straight away you can fill in already lah, without looking at the short notes. But if you cannot, short notes is there to help you. So can we start with uh, P, by the way. So what is this called? So this is like the... The skin, uh, the skin of the cell, uh, skin, uh, open, close, inverted comma. So that's what we call the cell membrane. Okay, if you need the spelling, it's uh, on your short notes anyways, you can refer that. Forgot how to spell. Yeah, so uh, spelling very important. If you spell wrong, confirm wrong uh, because these are their names. If you say grammar not good, uh, not, not too sure how to form a very proper sentence, that, that's okay. That's fine. But names, eh, make sure you spell correctly, okay? Q, next one. Well, when you see this, and then it's like a, I don't know, it's like a hot dog to me, but there's a lot of mustard and, and, and ketchup on top. So that's, what's that? If you're not too sure, remember, it's always here for you. Chapter two, you can turn to this page. You can find all the cells, okay? 
or the one that looks like the hot dog just now like i said okay that's your correct mitochondria okay let's go mitochondria if you're afraid that you spell wrongly right i used to i used to tell myself the spelling as mitochondria chondria mitochondria uh, at least i don't spell wrong okay but pronunciation mitochondria all right next one r will be the largest part of the cell the brain of the cell so that is called uh nucleus nucleus okay cool all right next one s that will be the dot 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 part the dot 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 that's where all the chemical reaction happens that's called the cytoplasm all right cool i've tried to remember how to spell yeah go ahead and do a few times memorize the spelling a bit it's like that one like no choice like if i tell you science no need memorize everything one uh, uh just go with the flow well that's half correct and half wrong because honestly there's quite a lot of things that you need to memorize because they are new to you especially names so put some effort here okay so these are the four structures uh animal cell would have only four okay all right cool next one i think we shall go to the next b okay state the function of structure p of the cell so you have your short notes with you right so everybody may you refer the function of cell membrane is the door to allow things go in and out so can you look out for cell membrane control the flow of material in and out so remember in and out then can already in and out then can already keyword yeah things go in and out so can you copy that yep down to your question b we will go through the short notes uh most probably no law ryan i think um we focus on exercise today i will teach while we do the question that means i will go back to short notes but i won't go through every single part of the short notes. okay that's for your that's for your convenience to study yourself so yeah okay uh like a bit more time for you to copy that down okay all good anyways um the short notes is with you lah. you can refer to yours at the meantime i'll get back to the question and look at what's happening for the next um, let me make sure there is no a bubble trap mm -hmm. mm, okay no bubble trap normal tuition time you say we can do ourselves then now you give more time hmm ha 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 ryan <laughs> Let's call it uh, what favoritism? No, uh, 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 unfair? No. <laughs> well, I give you time to copy, huh? No, all, all the time I give you time to copy. Uh, Zoe Grace, I, I don't have shown us how. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, you your material is lack of one material, is it? Like you have the exercise, but you don't have the short notes. Am I correct? Sup, sup, <laughs> right. How do you get short notes? Um, mm, okay, okay, both the material, you, we register the seminar and then they will send the material to your house. Like the whole thing. Which one did you not get? Or you didn't get both or you have not registered yet? Actually, we close uh some time ago already like the registration is closed everything is uh, ended a few weeks oh you have not registered uh, um hmm, i'm sorry about that because uh we have closed the registration i uh, registration i think a week or two ago because we started the seminar like a month ago uh, and all the notes have sent out within the uh, the few weeks before the seminar it's okay you can try and follow uh, with me now uh, and then maybe you can write on the papers at the moment okay yep okay cool done everybody let's go to c 
when preparing specimen slide, Sophia has to make sure there's no air bubble trap. Explain how. You know what this is? This is from here. This is from here. Whenever we we uh, want to observe microorganisms right on slide, uh, there's this step that we want to make sure there's no air bubble trap, which is here, number uh, number D. Okay, no matter animal cell, eh, sorry, sorry, plant cell, we, we do the same thing. After we put on the, the cells and we drip the iodine or the methylene, whatever, whatever, we have to place the cover slip down slowly, 45 degree with mounting needle. So then you don't, you know, if you slap it on, right, I'm pretty sure there's air bubble trap in between, then uh, that's not very good for observing. So hence, we want to put nicely, slowly, and not trap any air bubble. So this basically is the picture that you want to explain now. Okay, but we have to put it in words for two marks. Okay, very simple, some keywords already given to you. That means you need to use a mounting needle to lower the cover glass. Okay, slowly, so something like that. Okay, right. Although we don't have exactly the same sentence here, so I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna give you uh, the sentences. So the first one, we want to say uh, the cover slip or the cover glass, okay? Put it down with a mounting needle. Okay, so that will be your point number one in the chat box, everybody. Chat box, everybody. Okay. And uh, second point, we will say, uh, put it down slowly, right? Um, we will call it as lower it slowly, okay, onto the slide. Okay, there you go. Place cover slip 45 angle to the slide using mounting needle. So most of the words are here already. Like I'm just forming a sentence to it. Okay, all good. All right, that's to make sure no air bubble trap. Okay. Apani, answer, Karen. <laughs> okay, cool. Can I write Sophia? Can. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, usually I won't do that because <laughs> I'm lazy. No, la, I mean, you can. Um, I'm just going to go straight into the point. La. What if someone do not know how to use chat? Oh. Anyone do not know how to use chat? That's the chat function in your Zoom where I paste the answer to show you. You know where, right? Anybody need help? For which bit I'm flipping the exercise. Wait, the same question, wo. Karen, where are you? The same question, uh, what is this? 17. Ch, ch dash. <laughs> What's the I flip behind. Yeah, yeah, it's the same question. Was that the same question? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know how to access chat, then how they will tell they have problem. Ah, ha, ha. That's a good, that's a good one, Heather. <laughs> uh, I think everyone know la, right? Okay, cool. Um, next one. Sophia also has to place a drop of solution as, oh, oh, always uh, in your observation for your microorganisms right we have to add two kinds of liquid for animal cells and plant cells so if you don't remember again it is in your short notes for animal cell we will be using this one methylene blue everybody okay for animal cell we'll be using methylene blue for plant cell especially onion cell we will be using iodine solution well, it depends to the question law. Huh? So question now is talking about the cell, this one. This is animal cell. So if it's animal cell, then you must know what is solution, which solution it is. Are you okay? Can you help yourself? Animal cell. Huh? So like first point, you're right. What's the name of the solution? I'm going to leave that to you. If you're not too sure, you want to ask, you type in and check if it's correct. Okay. But I assume that you were following. So animal cell will use Okay, please write that down. Straight away, la, straight away, write the name of the solution. Okay, straight away. There's no sentence required. So just straight away, okay? And then you full stop. Well, take a look. We have three marks, ladies and gentlemen. So three marks. That was just your first mark. I think we need to explain a little bit more. Okay, uh, identify solution X. That's one mark. 
state the reason of Sophia's action. So that's two marks. So this is one mark. This is two marks. Okay. All right. So how do we write the second and the third mark? That means reason. Why should we add the color? Well, both plant and animal cell, we add the color is to make sure we want to dye the cell. Not D-I-E, but D-Y-E. 染色,我们要把细胞染上颜色, so we want to dye the cell. So that you can see clearly, because without color, the cell is pretty much transparent, it's very difficult to, to reflect the light into your eyes. So that's the two points we want to mention. Number one, we want to dye the cell, and we can see clearly, that's for your number three. Okay, can can? Okay, la. we don't have to write very long sentences. Huh? So just now you write the solution already, right? Then number two, point number two, you can write straight away the reason. Okay, of course, I'm not saying that you should write one, two, three point like that in exam. You don't have to write the number. I'm just showing you the number so you know which point it is. So straight away, you can go to your second line or just continue to write to die uh, the cell. Okay, to dye the cell or to dye the structure of the cell. Then full stop, strip away the next point so it can be seen clearly under microscope. Okay, uh, hey, this one very important. Uh, this one, a lot, a lot of times uh, when question asks, uh, a lot of students don't know how to answer. Okay, so make sure you want to dye the cell so that you can see clearly. What is point number one? Ha ha ha, sleeping, Ryan. Bite you, I bite you. You write yourself, point number one. Look at the question. Identify solution X. This is at my hint. This is animal cell, so you should know. No, Ryan. No. Why? <laughs> Why you say the opposite? This is animal. Check again, Ryan. Check again. This is animal cell. That's for plant cell. Iodine is for plant cell, by the way. Oh, I just said the opposite already. You sure? <laughs> what do you mean, I sure? Okay, cool. Is that all right for chapter? No, 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 I mean, for question three, everybody, if you're done, we'll get to the next one. Yes, correct, Nicholas. I use iodine in school to see animal cell. Are you sure? <laughs> you sure? That, that's my question to you again. You sure? Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip the next, number four. I would like to go to question five, everybody. Yes, 100% sure. Oh, is it? Okay, like we use methylene blue, by the way. I'm not too sure why it's iodine. Maybe run out of methylene blue, I guess. Okay, so question five. Uh, Question five, ah, uh, I, I choose question. I choose difficult one to do with you. Okay. All right. So shall we again? Chapter two. Yeah. Form one, chapter two. Okay. So first of all, before we answer the question for A, can we write down all three names? Actually, question asks for name or what? Uh? Our question is not asking for names, but we will write all three names for ourselves. Okay. <laughs> all right, Nicholas, saw that. Okay, like first one, you all know, right? Can you all recognize the picture? There's no specific shape. It's just weird shape. Is everyone okay? So maybe you want to type in to let me see if you're correct. Okay, then second one. Okay, uh, like that one, cockroach. It's green color, by the way. I give you tips and hint. And the last one is an animal cell. A lot of tentacles. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Ah, uh, mm, yeah, okay, not bad. Okay, the first one, some say paramecium. Uh, paramecium doesn't look like that. So remember, paramecium looks like a sleeper. Yeah, correct, so it should be amoeba. Yeah, looks like sleeper. Okay, so paramecium, like that. So this is amoeba, correct, correct. So everybody, good job. Okay. Hey. No, 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 we're not supposed to write the name inside. I'm sorry, we are supposed to write somewhere else for ourselves. So this is called amoeba. Amoeba. And the ne next one. Okay, yes, yes. Correct, correct. Yep, correct. Make sure you know the spelling also. Lah. Check your short notes. Clemidomonas. 
Okay. Yep. Short notes you have, huh? And the last one, Hail the Hydra. <laughs> Hydra in a lot of like movies or games, we know them, we know them as like snakes with three heads that can actually spray fire, flamethrower. Okay, anyways, we do have that in real life. It's called Hydra also in Animal Cell. Okay, all oh, good. There you go. That's the that's the basic we have to remember about their names. But anyway, let's look at the question. Write M for multicellular, U for uni. Oh, okay. So, like, I think first one, obviously, unicellular, only one cell, right? Unicellular, only one cell. So the next one is also unicellular. Okay, and the third one, that's your hydra, which is multicellular from animal cells. So quite simple. Lah. If you're wondering, how you know that this one, this one, this page you have, you refer, huh? must remember, must know how to categorize. Is that all right? Okay, cool. So there you go. Next one, shall we? Okay, diagram 5.2 shows how food gases, food and gases are transported in the body. Okay, I think we're talking about all the systems because I see the word systems here. So I, I think we're at the system page. So at the meantime, you may flip to the system page of your chapter 2. This one, you will see a lot of systems. On it, huh? Okay, well, this question is a bit of thinking question. Not so straightforward. You know, not like giving a lung, giving you a... a um, uh, a lung kidney and all that and asking you what system is that this is more of like a thinking question you must analyze a bit a bit difficult but we'll go through okay all right so like let's see uh we analyze the picture first uh your follower uh, this a bit one uh. don't don't fall off the train uh. okay so food go to system d system d will give the food to system e system e there is gaseous exchange to system f and system f will exhale air while system f will also will intake air okay i know it doesn't make much sense to you we start one by one okay food go into system d so everybody take a look at your system uh short notes can you all go to your system short notes can you tell me which system take in food for you not uh, not organs yeah valerie not organs yeah we're talking about systems systems can you check the systems page so when i say this is going to be very straightforward which system take in food and take charge of the food and all that ah so very simple yes correct correct like come in come in answer okay ah, steady yep correct there you go so everybody that is your digestive system good job Ding. digestive system okay like digestive system okay cool step by step ladies and gentlemen step by step don't worry chill very easy okay like continue huh? after the food go into your digestive system nom, 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 nom and then digest 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 the food will be transported into another system that will bring to every part of your body your food is being transported into another system that will send the food to every single part of your cell the tips here is this system is to transport things <laughs> isn't that obvious enough it's your transportation ladies and gentlemen okay answers come in all right so far so good yes correct correct cool getting into it okay cool right more more i want more so many system i want to die <laughs> because of so many system you alive are karen <laughs> now you are done what Okay, the system that transport whatever it's your transport system, it's called blood circulatory system. Good job. Good job. Okay. Yeah. Blood circulatory 
system. Okay, there you go. Nice. Okay, blood circulatory system. So far, so good, everybody. Okay, one more to go. Okay, blood circulatory system. System F will give something to blood and blood will give something back to F. And then F is a system to exhale air and F is also a system to inhale air from surrounding. So what is F? F is a system for you to and then <coughs> too cold. The air is cold in my room. Excretory. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. It's a system to excretory inclusive of shishi. You know, you go toilet shishi also, but this is just all right, ladies and gentlemen. I like it. That is your respiratory system yeah ladies and gentlemen good job good job give yourself a clap you managed to i mean we managed to do you have the clap emoji yeah you have the clap emoji right give yourself a clap emoji that you managed to figure out the diagram <laughs> cool cool yeah yeah ding, 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 ding. hey why you all give me the, the another emoji no lah just clap lah. okay maybe the celebrate emoji like Oh, got love also, right? Yeah, yeah, got love also. Got love also. Ding. <clears throat> Is there a punch emoji? Do you have punch emoji? I don't think so. <laughs> Why you want a punch emoji? <laughs> you can do the celebrate like. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so now you all know who they are already, right? Okay, lah, it makes more sense now, right? found it oh you mean in the chat box okay like now is the time we go on to guess k and l so what's guess k and l oh 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 it, everything seems so easy now because you what guess and then you and l is from blood back to the system oh, and then throw away right so so yeah you all get it a bit thinking required so k coming in that should be oxygen correct so K is oxygen. L from your blood, it gives your respiratory carbon dioxide, which is to your lungs, and lungs will. <sighs> okay, so L actually here also L, but question purposely the one right like that because this one very obvious. Question write it above here. So this is gas K. Supposedly this is also gas K, but question the one write it like that because very obvious. You will sure know. So question ready another way. So correct, ladies and gentlemen, K is oxygen. L is carbon dioxide. Yep, yep, yep. I saw your answers. Correct, correct. Thank you for your input. Question number three, ladies and gentlemen. Two organs in D. Oh, uh, Valerie, is your time to shine. <laughs> Because this time you gave me some examples, right? Now we're asking for organs in your digestive. Like go to your short notes, look out for organs, 器官,不是系统,系统我们已经写了,现在要写器官,请问消化系统里面什么器官? I think the easiest thing is what you always use to makana. Okay? So it's here. Uh, ta -da! So many uh choose choose two everybody choose eh, wait how many uh uh two uh like two yes correct 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 answers good job correct correct yeah like two organs for yourself okay if you think like huh very difficult eh now man I just remember the simple one uh, da chang, xiao chang, you bu ma. large intestine small intestine confirm you know right stomach you don't know me stomach you know ma. you don't know mouth me you um, your mouth is so important you don't know me you know ma okay maybe the only one esophagus not sure not sure then don't write they are very long uh, don't write uh. if you scared you spell wrongly then don't write uh. write the shorter one uh, in the exam uh. okay i but i spell wrong there sorry uh 
uh, which one did you spell wrong? <laughs> oh, as a thing. Actually, actually, uh, uh, Jessina. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Am I correct, Jessina? Actually, esophagus correct. Your spelling is American spelling. Acceptable. Acceptable. This is uh the the British British English British got O lah. American shorter spelling one lah. It's like Z and S. You know, like realize and realized. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's rectum counted. Uh, <laughs> Shu Yan. Actually, in your digestive system, yes, rectum is under digestive system. Uh, but we don't write it here yet. Okay, so that's all right. Yeah, because uh, form one, we form two only. We talk about all the the all the entire system. Yeah, rectum not excretory, man. Uh, no, rectum is under digestive. Uh. Pooping, uh, shitting, uh, sorry, allow me to say shitting. Shitting uh, is uh, not under di digestive, uh, sorry, not under excretory. Excretory is just skin. Eh, where is it? Uh, excretory. Eh, 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 excretory. excretory is skin, lung, and kidney only. So, uh, pooping is not excretion pooping is called defecation okay tapping is pai is pai xie pai xie is that three things your lungs kidney and skin rectum is also in textbook and verbal oh is it so i might be mistaken uh by do you have in textbook rectum i forgot actually uh maybe you can let me check a bit uh that that's all right that's all right we write something familiar with okay um but actually everything in the digestive system is acceptable one la, so don't worry yeah but i would rather you choose something you are familiar don't risk your answer too much all right okay cool uh that's for question five is everybody all right okay uh, all right i think i will jump a bit to the next one okay can you turn to 24 Page 24, ladies and gentlemen, page 24. I jump a bit. Uh, this is the second set, uh, by the way. I want to choose more coverage. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm not going to do this, do this question, but I want to do a correction. <laughs> Something is wrong here. Okay, question asks you to take the apparatus with the correct 2D diagram. Correct 2D diagram. Okay, so uh, since we're here, we were just gonna quickly do this question. Now, crucible 2D diagram doesn't look like that. Crucible 2D diagram looks like almost the same, but with a cover. There is a lid. So this is not correct. This is wrong. Yeah. Okay. And the correction that I want to do is wire gauss. Uh, I accidentally placed the, the correct answer into it. This is supposed to be wrong answer. This is supposed to draw like that one. It's not this one. Okay, so uh, like for instance, I'm just going to erase that away. Oops. Supposedly, uh, it's like that one. Uh, like that one uh. So this is also wrong. Uh, wrong. The correct drawing should be on your book now, the original drawing that I have. Okay, the correct should be this, everybody. You can check your short notes also. Yeah. So this is supposedly to be a wrong answer. So, so the correct answer will be the last two. Bunsen burner is correct. Uh wait, yeah. Bunsen burner is correct. Tripod stand is correct. Yeah, this is evaporating dish uh picture, by the way. You all can refer to your short notes. Okay. Guess uh L or what is guess L already? Oh just now uh, uh header that was carbon dioxide header. Uh guess L carbon dioxide. Okay, well, so the correct answer should be this one, Bunsen burner and tripod stand. Huh? Everybody, this is a correction. My bad, my bad. Wire gauss is also a correct one according to your book right now, but it was supposed to be this drawing. Okay, no problem. Uh, Jun Kai, this is page 24. Do page 23. Uh. What is 23? Uh? 
That's not 23. I mean, that's not question in 23. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, Dana. Okay, that's not what I want to do actually. So we want to get into some difficult question. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn to 27, section C. 27, right? Then you shall go back to your chapter 1 short notes, the first page of your short notes. Is everyone okay so far? Question 6, page 27. All good? Page 27. Okay, I ask, section C, uh, longer question. You will see uh, what I mean by longer questions. So there's more things to answer here. Okay, all right, line. Three apparatus that can use to fill or contain liquid chemical. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you shall look out for your chapter one, the first page, any uh, instrument or any apparatus used to contain chemical one. Like look for it right now, okay? Look for it right now. Any relatable one, as long as contain chemical or liquid one. Uh, here, page number one, here, everything here. Okay, look for it. Anyone can, uh, any apparatus, is uh, the same as what question required, which is to contain chemical. So we need three in total. Three in total. Okay, let's see what do we have. Mm hmm. Hey, why got text tube one? <laughs> Typo. Uh. Test tube. Okay, definitely test tube is. Yep. Test tube is correct. Anything else? Beaker. Yes. Correct. Beaker. What else? Boiling tube, okay, acceptable, yes. What else? I, I think one more. I think one more. Um, Burret pipette, okay, I see burette and pipette. Burette and pipette is actually not to contain. Burette and pipette is actually specialized in measuring. I won't want to keep the liquid in burette and pipette, on. But that's for me to measure accurate amount. So, burette and pipette. No. Oh, I saw something. Round bot flat bottom flask. Correct, Mingyi. Yes. Flat bottom flask. Something extra something out of what we have, right? I think. Do we have it here? Uh oh yes, we have, I thought. <laughs> uh flat bottom flask, and there's another one called round bottom flask. Correct, correct. Conical flask. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, uh, actually, uh, got one more. Hey, guess jar cannot. Guess jar for guess. <laughs> actually, got one more, which everyone missed out. Oh, Ryan just came in with the answer, uh, which is evaporating dish evaporating dish can contain also lah, huh? okay ladies and gentlemen just a final check in your chat box if you all got the correct answer okay all good i'm a pro man <laughs> okay cool is that one all right right let's get into the next one okay uh, okay mr lim wants to heat up 50 ml of chemical liquid ethanol from a bottle ethanol you know what's ethanol ladies and gentlemen do you know another name for it do you ethanol uh we use it a lot nowadays not exactly ethanol but we use this kind of things a lot nowadays especially during the COVID, yeah, which is alcohol. Obviously not for drinking, okay? For cleaning, for sanitizing and so on. So we're using a lot of alcohol nowadays, right? So ethanol is alcohol. So everyone remember now, ethanol, it's alcohol. Okay, name the technique which can be used to heat up. Okay, if you want to heat up ethanol, what's the correct technique? Draw the hazard symbol. Okay, first of all, let's answer what's the technique. Because ethanol is so flammable, 
Yes, correct, flammable. You cannot heat Itano straight away because it will catch just fire. What's the technique to heat up Itano? Oh, this is a bit challenging though. You, where do you learn this? Uh? Let me think. Uh. You learn this in chapter 1 also. You learn this in chapter 2 also. I show you where. Um, I show you. I show you. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Remember there's this part where we put the etano in a hot water like that? Remember that? In a boiling, put in boiling tube, and then we put in. That's called water buff. Do you all recall the name? It's called water buff. Because etano is so flammable, we cannot heat directly to the test tube or the boiling tube. It may catch us a fire. We must use like hot water. You know, like you want to melt chocolate. Have you all tried melting chocolate? If you put chocolate straight into your pot or your pan, it will burn. It will burn. I cannot. Chocolate cannot uh, heat up on pan straight away or on pot. You must melt the chocolate by using water bath like that. You must have a bowl of hot water and another smaller bowl with the chocolate in the middle. You put onto the hot water and you stir it. Okay, you'll get it now. Okay, actually not everyone heat chocolate before, right? So that's also difficult to remember. But uh, I hope that gives you a clearer idea. So that's called water bath, ladies and gentlemen. So let's write that now. Water bath, okay? Noise. Oh, not, not, not very easy on this kind of question. A bit challenging, huh? Okay, let me draw the symbol. Do you remember how to draw? If you're not sure, please refer to your short notes. Just draw like a fire. Not sure if my fire is good, but Can we just do it again? <laughs> is this even a fire? Something like that, okay. Is this, I think it looks, it looks like a fire. Okay, acceptable. All good. Roughly la, roughly la. You all can trace the, you all can look at the short notes. You have the symbol of the fire. Okay, uh, steady. Uh. We go to the next question, all right? Okay, question C, shall we? Name the apparatus in number 8. Diagram 8, could this apparatus heat up? Okay, first of all, name the apparatus. Number 2, could this apparatus heat up semi-solid materials? Okay, so for a uh, crucible, uh, I'm not sure if I have it here also. For crucible, okay, it's not here, but uh, I'm going to talk about it now. Crucible is, I don't think it's something from your textbook anyways, something extra here to learn. Crucible it's to heat up solid stuff only, cannot heat up semi-solid, like, you know, like jelly and all that. No, it is used to heat up only solid stuff. All right. And explain your answer why, because this, the function is not to heat up uh, semi-solid. So three marks here. First comes from here, name. Number two, uh, could this heat up? Yes or no? And number three, and explain. So, Remember this, ladies and gentlemen, you have to know where your marks come from. The biggest mistake is not that you didn't study, you don't know what to write. The biggest mistake is you simply write, you know a lot, but you write things that question doesn't ask for. So what I always encourage you to do is to do like what I always do to highlight or underline what question is trying to ask you read the second time. Especially three marks are is very heavy, you know. So this is usually what I will do. I'll tell myself what I need to answer. Okay? You realize three marks are a lot I tell you a lot of people write karangan one. One day I see the diagram it is the crucible. Then you write a lot, right? After karangan are like, whew, finally I finished my karangan. Then your friend look at you like so weird. Be doing <laughs> then you're like oh yes i finished then when you come back right 
you got this because in the karangan you did not answer what question one maybe you get one mark or two mark but your friend only write three very simple points your friend gets mark okay so maybe you are the friend today after telling you you know how to call, um, get a proper mark from longer questions or more marks of questions okay so remember to do that that's another way to help you to be more accurate so like first answer name it's called crucible okay so i'm gonna show you everybody number one it's called crucible okay with lit that there's a cover on top number two can this apparatus heat up semi-solid straight away you say no okay number three explain your answer why no uh because this is only used to heat solid stuff and it's on this this crucible is to heat by using very uh hot fire very intense fire it's made of clay it's not like it's it's not a uh, glass it's made of clay you know like clay pot like that one so it's for like intense heating like oh, a lot of uh heat uh, a very high temperature going on so number three to feel solid substances during intense heating that's not for semi so do you see that my three marks are not karangan not essay type i'm just having short and straightforward point uh, of course you don't have to do one two three like me you can just full stop start a new one full stop start a new one full stop start a new one okay is it tao zi? yes correct it's like clay material yeah like clay pot you order like clay pot chicken or clay pot chicken rice or whatsoever that's the material of crucible okay can we bring the short notes into the exam area and just copy it in the exam paper yes that's the purpose of my short notes in your oh wait no uh no i mean i mean no <laughs> uh rewind <laughs> no you did not hear me saying that no ladies and gentlemen erase that from your brain <laughs> erase that okay uh how i wish i have a man in black thing <laughs> flash everyone will forget what i say should make it smaller then can bring to exam <laughs> oh no oh no oh no oh no 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 i was just joking ladies and gentlemen i was just joking cannot do that that's not ethical okay yo i the short notes i prepare for you to shorten your study time not for your not for you to bring to exam okay you then you did not hear me saying that just now okay <laughs> next question d everybody shall we d <laughs> oh crap i might get into trouble <laughs> wait are your parents around if your parents are around then i'm doomed <laughs> you're like girl or boy why this like they want off the zoom <laughs> my dad beside me oh gg <laughs> hi uncle and aunties i was just joking don't get me wrong <laughs> hello <laughs> oh but you wear headphone <laughs> yes ryan correct correct the answers are correct okay <laughs> luckily you're on the earphone okay like next one between retort stand and tripod stand which one more suitable for heating chemical substances and explain your answer okay you know what's the difference yeah can 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 ryan that's a correct answer okay i know where earphone iv <laughs> okay tripod stand ah, like that okay a uh, retort stand is like that which one is good for heating i mean the the answer is already here ah. very straightforward right now tri tripod ah, is to use the wire gauss and bunsen burner together uh retort not necessary for heating retort can just you know by holding the test tube maybe not heating maybe you just want to hold it in the air so more suitable for heating will be tripod correct 
Yep, correct, like everybody. First answer, just straight away write down tripod stand. Well, okay, and then explain why tripod stand is uh, more suitable. Well, uh, we don't really learn this exactly from the front, but you know why tripod is suitable? Because you want to put the Bunsen burner in between, ma. the tripod stand is like that one. Ma. So the Bunsen burner will have fire at the middle. That's where it allows the fire. That's an empty space. Okay, to for a, for you to place your Bunsen burner and do the heating. So, ladies and gentlemen, in your chat box, space in the middle can place the Bunsen burner nozzle. Nozzle means the head where the fire comes out. All right. Okay. All good. Right, so we will get to E. Okay, uh. Right, uh, so this is not something from the front, lah. You can kind of learn at the moment, learn this at the moment. That's to allow the, uh, the space to allow the nozzle, yeah? Uh, can we send the answer again? Yes, yes. Hold on. Uh, okay, resend. Uh, which one is it? Uh, retort stand. Uh, a tri tripod, tripod. Eh, yeah, tripod, tripod. Uh, retort is the this one. Retort is the sideway one. This one. Retort, not for, not really for heating purposes. Tripod is for heating purposes. Okay. All right, cool. Next one. Okay, I think question E is very straightforward. I'll leave that to you. Pipette and burette differences basically means asking for, for function. Asking for function. So you can copy straight away from here. So pipette, burette. I'm going to leave that to you now. Okay, copy it from your short notes, function of pipette and burette, straight away copy, that's it. But of course, exam you have to remember lah. So the main difference between burette and pipette, right? Burette is to measure volume of liquid accurately. Pipette usually not for really to measure whatever, whatever volume that you want. It's, it's to collect or is to uh, contain a fixed volume, like for example, 25 ml, 50 ml. So, there's no like in between one. Uh. Okay, uh. that's for you to actually suck up the water with a specific volume like 25 ml, for example, and then to release it into uh, another apparatus. So that's the main difference. Uh. Burette is more specific one. Like I want 25.2. Wow, wow, 25.2 also can measure. I can, uh, very accurate. But by pet, uh, it's not like, it's not for, uh, uh, let's say 25.2 it's more like a fixed volume accurately but i don't have the smaller smaller measurement okay so that's usually for you to pick up water in a specific volume like i want 25 just use the 25 pipette zoop, suck up the water and then drop it to somewhere else or release it to somewhere else okay all good it's almost like a dropper yeah, that's for you. Uh, then I will move on to question seven. Some little calculation here. Okay, which is your SI unit. My mess must memorize your SI, uh, which is, you know, like length uh, for uh, measure, but meter um, Kelvin for temperature. Spend some time on that part. Okay, that's very basic calculation and basic uh, units that we need. All good. Shall we go to seven? Five more seconds for you uh, while you copy E. I'll be at page 28, question seven. Okay. All good. Right. Now, uh, you all know what's SI, right? You all have the table with you. You have heard it a thousand times. And hence, the next part, we will be talking about prefix. Now, prefix means like uh, adding alphabets, adding unit onto the original prefix to make the number lesser. So for instance, uh, 
Wow, so many number, very ma fun eh. I don't want to write so many zero. Then what can you do? You replace with the word nano. Then you can write lesser zero. You get it? If I were to tell you, uh, how many kilometer from here to Thailand, from here to Bangkok? Wow, how many thousands? I mean, if you want to, to, to write it in meter, uh, that's a lot of meter. So how can we make the number lesser? We will use alphabet like kilo or use prefix like kilo to add it on so that you don't have to write so many zero. So what's prefix? Prefix is to express bigger or smaller units yeah, in a better way. Okay, but of course this is uh, for some simple calculation. So very simple. Now, kilogram to milligram, very simple. Uh, you have to, usually what I suggest everyone to do is to change your kilogram back to gram first, back to gram, and then you add on milli onto it. Okay, so look, what, what I always used to say is like, you know, this is you, G is you, now you are having a clothes with you, you want to change clothes. You're having K, but you want the one K already, you want to wear M. Okay, so then you have to do what? You have to take off your clothes first. Ah. So from KG to G, naked first. <laughs> naked. Then you run around and then you wear another new clothes, MG. Okay, make it naked first, then you add another new one, another new prefix onto it. That's usually what I suggest if you're not too good in you know changing it straight away. Yeah, so first of all, kg to g uh, is time a thousand, right? Am I correct? Getting g uh, is to times a thousand. Okay, if you are not too good at this or you're struggling at this type of calculation, uh, it's here, very simple. It's here, okay? So, bigger unit to smaller unit with always times, times. Smaller unit go back to bigger unit will always divide lah. Okay, uh, so now kg to g is a big unit to a small unit, so we go times, yeah? So we will times a thousand, am I correct? Oops, a thousand. And then gram to milli, okay, if you're not too sure what is milli, milli is also three decimal. Uh. Okay, uh, can, uh, so kilo just now. To no kilo, that means a thousand. Now it's another three zero, so times another thousand again. Okay, you understand? Yeah, so we show the working here a bit. Yeah, 0 0.006 kg times thousand. Okay, actually, you know what? We can straight away times. Zero, 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 zero. Isn't it? That's the same thing. We don't have to do two times. Huh? Okay. Uh. Can, can, can I just times 10 negative three? Cannot, cannot. Because uh, you have to, you have to do this. That's why I say from K to milli, right? You have to take off K first. Let it be G. That says, so there's two times. Uh, and there. Are you clear with that? We have two times. I uh, have to jump two times. Uh. Okay. So that's usually uh, what I suggest you to think of in that way. Okay, uh, so 0 0.006 times 1000 and 1000. So we have moved to the right side for six times. Uh. So can you all move to the right side for the six times? We have zero, I uh, know we have six, correct. Eh? Did you move lesser, uh, Ryan? So imagine 0 0.006, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, should be 6,000, uh. should be 6,000. Can we use calculator in exam? Um, good question. I, I think for this one, no. I think for this one, no. Wait, can you? I think for, I remember this one, uh, not allowed. Uh. Uh, let me think. Wait, you have density, right? I, yeah, okay, I think it's all right. I think you can. You have density calculation, so yes, I think you can. Okay, so 6,000. Uh, so equals to 6,000. Mg, okay? Can? All right, next one. 
Okay, that's a lot of meter to nanometer. Okay, nano is a very small unit, right? Let's check nano is nine well away. Nine. Okay. So nano, okay, this one no need so much fun. This one is just to wear a new clothes. This is to wear a new clothes. So from no clothes, naked, naked, running around, running around by adding clothes on. Okay, nano is uh, 10 negative 9, uh, means 9 of the decimal, yeah? Do we have to memorize the prefix? Yes, uh, Pavitra, yes, you need to. So this box is very important for you, okay? It's actually a very easy one. All of them is the jump of 3 decimal, 3, 9, 6, 3, 1, 3, 6, 9. There's only one weird here called the centi, centimeter, okay? Can, can? Where is Terra? Uh, usually, usually we don't have Terra to ask in question one. This is what is required uh, from uh, your textbook. Lah. So we don't want to do more than that. Okay. So nano means we have nine um, units here. So again, uh, we will write 0 0.000000 space 009 meter. Okay times how many are uh? nine uh? one eh yeah one eat a uh, sun eat a uh, sun one two three there you go okay all good a uh, sun eat a uh, sun eat a uh, sun yeah correct correct small to big is divide uh yes correct that small to big is divide small to big divide okay can can big to small times that's why you get more number big to small you throw away your prefix become no prefix your number become vroom, a lot but a lot of number there are very lazy there don't write zero there okay you throw away the zero put alphabet like nano or whatsoever then zoop become no number lesser number but replaced with alphabet you get it right you get it right Okay, a lot of zero, don't like it? Throw away the zero. Add alphabet to represent, that's called prefix. You like zero? Okay, take away the alphabet, put zero to it. Okay, so for this case, very simple. Times, we will move to the right side. It becomes, okay, la, it's exactly the number, so it will be nine straight away. Yeah, so equals to nine nanometer. Okay, move to the right side. Okay, move to the right side. Then you get nine nanometer. Okay, ah, uh? okay. Like next one, shall we? Okay, K to MK. I think K for I don't know Kelvin maybe to mega. Capital M is mega. Let's check capital M. There you go, mega six zero. Okay, so seven zero 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 kilo to mega you don't like the number you want to replace with a mega okay let's uh, wear a new clothes okay we'll wear a mega into it so mega will be uh six zero correct so kelvin to mega small to big uh, because no prefix to prefix definitely we are wearing a bigger prefix now mega is a bigger prefix okay so no prefix to prefix or i should say small to big uh, mega is bigger mega okay so that will be divide so divide by six zero seven zero 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 and zero 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 kelvin equals to hey okay, sorry sorry divide sorry i was supposed to write divide okay uh, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, six, zero, divide by six, zero. Okay. You all right? So you're like, huh? Why like that? Okay. You see means, let's say here, meter is no, no, no prefix in front, right? No prefix. It's just one M, right? So meter to having kilo in front and you become bigger because mega is bigger. Mega is on the positive side. So everything above here is bigger. Everything here below becomes smaller. Okay. So like that. 
yeah so becomes bigger so we divide so divide how many depends on this is six decimal la. we divide six zero by the way so that equals to seven mk mega capital k as well okay all right there you go correct correct did you will there be a seminar for last year exam oh last year you mean last final or last year i think you mean coming right uh we're not too sure that i cannot i cannot um answer this at the moment <laughs> i'm not sure maybe yes maybe no depends on uh the it depends on uh, the discussion teacher tomorrow tuition continue online right that's a good question though according to announcement next week we start a physical class slash uh online we see any um any an announcement to today or tonight first but at the moment we follow what uh, we have at, as the last announcement which is uh, we, we continue physical if you prefer to stay online why not you could stay online also okay yeah can mix mix up if you want to take online some subjects you want to take some subjects physical also okay back to usual okay all right last one everybody 0 0.3 meter to centimeter hey, this one very simple like this one your kindergarten stuff isn't it so 0 0.3 meter becomes centi so you need to wear a centimeter that means throw a, that means wear another centi to it right that will be big to small meter to centimeter centimeter smaller right okay so big to small that will be times centi is two zero times hundred okay times 100 so equals to 30 cm okay 37 all right final check everybody final check anything that you missed out we'll get to the question b teacher do we have to memorize the density for objects like the density for crop is a uh, no need pavitra no need all the objects so many in the whole world no need right we will just know how to calculate and can yeah okay all good five more seconds everybody we move on to b the next part okay shall we miss alia would like to bake three cakes each cake required 350 gram one cake ah uh. ayo so simple so simple so simple like we show the working ah uh, one cake is 350 grams of flour you make three cakes so <laughs> come on right okay yeah uh. oh but wait that's a trick here ladies and gentlemen that's a trick there is a trick how much flour needed in the unit of kg oh i thought what wow, i thought so easy Yuan Lai. okay so 350 times 3 we have 1050 gram okay now 1050 gram okay 1050 gram to kg uh, means i need to wear a new clothes uh. now naked uh naked running around i need to wear a new clothes i need to wear k oh. kilo is three decimal ah. right three zero that means a thousand ah. so gram to kilo is small to big right gram is smaller kilo is bigger ah. so small to big small to big is divide oh. divide oh. divide is moved to the left side okay so divide a thousand is equals to 1.05 kg Ta -da! Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, okay there you go the trick is behind if you miss, missed out that uh, you'll be writing 1050 gram already okay nice question c1 Puan Aina wants to make a dress she told the shopkeeper that she need four what huh four arms length of cloth what is okay never mind in your opinion can she get the required length and why so this is the question one mark second mark goes to explanation 
Eh? You want to make dress, you go to the shop. Uncle, I want four arm length of cloth. Okay, I come back and take later. Okay, ciao. And then when you come back and collect your clothes or collect your, your cloth, do you think Puan Aina is able to get what she wants? What do you think? Four arm length. What in the world is so <laughs> So, okay, obviously everyone understand it's going to be a no. Why ah? Uh? Why no ah? Uh? Then I come back and uh, Uncle, why you give me why you give me a uh, five arm length or why you give me different measurement? Because everyone has different correct okay i'm seeing all your answers because everyone has different arm length hello uncle arm and my arm is different ma maybe uncle arm is longer eh? and then uh, this is not a standard way to measure isn't it cool you all got your main points already that's too much by the way first of all you're all right no okay first of all uh, no <laughs> Phil maths in school, lol. Why so bad? Well, that's that's actually maths, though. I mean, that's actually science. <laughs> cannot uh, like everybody look at the chat box. Cannot the arm length of each person is different. Well, you don't have to write exactly like mine. If your own way sounds the similar meaning, then then no worries. You don't have to erase yours. So everyone has different uh arm length. Okay. All good. Accurate measuring method because everyone has different length of arm and arm length is depends on ourselves. GK, that's a, a bit rather long. I would say a, quite a lot of things inside are not required. What really important is everyone has different arm length. The rest is, uh, well, you can have it. You cannot have it as well. Don't worry. Okay. So look at my sentence. It's a shorter way of writing. Okay. All good, right? So next one, shall we? Suggest a better way to measure the correct length, uh, to replace the method and state one advantage. Okay, so we need to call measure correct, uh, replace the method, um, better way to measure the correct length. And then one advantage of using the suggested method. Okay, like of course, uh, you go to the shop, you want to measure by using the correct way should be something standard that we use every day. What do we have? Something we use every day. So that will be the rule. Okay, of course, we follow what our textbook one to be official. That's called meter ruler. Meter ruler. Okay. So why ah? Uh? Oh well, meter ruler. It's a you know it's an international thing. It's a standard unit uh. It's a SI. Okay, can can. So then um like second point ah. Uh. Meter is a SI unit for length. Ah, uh, how? Can measure with more accuracy yep correct correct just in a something like that yeah don't have to be the same as mine accuracy this is your second point she should what measuring tape to measure the length she want to tell the shopkeeper this will help to avoid misunderstanding misunderstanding by buying things uh hmm uh, to earn, I think uh, measuring tape is acceptable, but I think uh, we need to have the word more accurate, more accuracy, measure more accuracy rather than the misunderstanding that that part is not really uh, necessary here. Okay, the more important part is we want to be accurate. Whether misunderstand, no misunderstand, uh, that's the afterwards thing. Okay, can uh, everybody chat box? Second point, something like what I mentioned. Okay. Uh, meter is the SI unit for length. Yeah. K 
can measure with more accuracy. So there you go. Okay. Uh. All right. Cool. Um, I think I shall turn to some water displacement method. Uh. Let me see. Uh. Okay. I would like to skip to B for some um, zero error question. Can you turn to page 29, but start with B? Page 29, start with B. Uh, yeah, Karen, no problem. Go ahead. Very bad at error question. Okay, cool. Let's get it um, clear today. So what do we have about error? Let's take a look. Error is here, this one. Okay, sorry. So there's two types of error lah, called systemic error and random error. Lah. So systemic error usually is your measuring instrument problem. Measuring instrument problem, not your problem, not my problem, the thing got problem. That's called systemic error. Usually means zero error. It doesn't start with zero. Random error is human error. Random error is parallax. You did not see straight 90 degree. You look from the side or carelessness when you take reading or wrong technique. So this is human error. This is measuring instrument error usually means zero error. Okay, so obviously at the moment, look at this. This what error, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that, look at that. Look at that. So usually when we have this kind of picture already, that must be a zero error zero error but i like i would like to further ask a little bit more is this a positive zero error or a negative zero error what do you think this zero is here but this is pointing at negative one negative two negative three isn't it or we should say this is 45 46 47 48 49 50. so that's a zero uh Negative zero error, correct, correct, negative everybody. That's a negative. So two acceptable answer, either you can write zero error or you can write negative zero error. Up to you, up to you, okay? All right, state the value in B1, means this one, uh, by the way, correction, we have one and two here. So what's the value now? right now what is this pointing at this is negative right but negative how many negative how many can i write systemic error can i okay uh pavitra did we i would suggest you to be specific because this is obviously zero error uh, because another error is inaccurate measuring instrument so that is also under systemic so we will be more accurate straightforward to say this is a zero error okay negative three correct this is this is negative one negative two this is negative three so this is pointing at negative three okay so hence this is negative 0 0.03 mm so we are talking about millimeter in micrometer screw gauge micrometer screw gauge micrometer screw gauge where was that yeah so micrometer screw gauge so mm and do you all know how many numbers do we have how many divisions we have here in total how many divisions that we have maximum we have 50 divisions only that means this thing can turn ta, 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 50 times 50 divisions 50 lines so the unit smallest is 0 0.01, the largest is 0 0.50, both mm by the way. Is that alright? Smallest is 1, right? Means 0 0.01 mm. Largest is 50, right? Means what? 0 0.50 mm. Okay, so like next one. How can the error be avoided? Well, zero error, you have to minus the zero error. Lah. 
there's nothing much you can do about it unless you throw away you buy a new one or else we will always need to minus the zero error how did you get negative three okay like again uh, for uh, arbitra okay zero is here right but the pointer is pointing at this one pointer is pointing at this one so this is zero negative one negative two this is negative three by right uh, if it's a, a perfect or a a, a good uh, micrometer screw gauge right the zero must be pointing zero 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 from here pointer must be pointing zero is that clear but now the the screw a bit loosen already so it goes up to here as your zero so now i'm pointing negative one two and three above is one two positive so below here is negative okay uh how come that answer how negative three oh because the largest you total you have 50 division the smallest is 0 0.01 yeah this is 0 0.01 0 0.02 every one every division is 0 0.01 every division okay and can can we write a negative a 0 0.47 oh cannot show yet but because this is negative if it's positive huh, you will realize that the zero is probably below here you are pointing some positive number so cannot 0 0.47 so what's the value of zero error so zero error is negative 0 0.03 uh, but you write negative 3 there. Oh, uh, because here cannot write 0 0.03 ma very uh how to say a uh, very uh eh, 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 not not convenient to write so many zero uh, so we have 50 divisions. So each division is 0 0.01. Each division is 0 0.01. So 50 is not the real value. 50 means there's 50 divisions. Each, each division is 0 0.01 so the largest will be 0 0.50 okay uh, if it's positive 0 then just write 0, 0.0 yeah correct Jingchen correct correct the va the value of actual value are uh, there here this is the negative error first we haven't get the real value of the whole thing we need to do the calculation okay so remember our uh, total 50 division each division is 0 0.01 okay total 50 divisions each division 0 0.01 that's it okay like next one how can the error it be avoided okay the only way to do this is we need to minus off the zero error that's it okay so oops uh give me a moment okay cool like uh how uh, we will say deducing the value of zero error that means we want to minus it off okay everybody number three uh, how can the error in b1 be avoided by deducing means to minus off or minus to minus the value of or by deducting also can the value of zero error how to do calculation Pavitra, soon we will do it in the next question already i think i thought can fix i can i can i can fix up but but now you want to measure ma we, we don't want to like fix it at the moment we want to minus off then can really la, so no need so much fun la. okay all good so far okay in your chat box ah deducing or redu uh, or, or uh, uh by minusing the oh there's no minusing but by deducting the value of zero error actual value minus zero error okay why not the question asks us how to fix it <laughs> no, no no the question asks how to be avoided see the one to fix we want to avoid that means we want to uh, minus it off lah. okay right like what is the thickness of the wire with the error stated ah huh? okay like with wire okay we do as usual don't care about the zero error first so for those who are not sure how like ready step number one look for your main scale step number two look for your uh secondary scale or the next skill we have here okay can can all right so tell me what's your main skill how are uh, now this is zero 
this should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how about the bottom one? The bottom is 0 0.5, half. So it's main scale, 8.5. So all the bottom is 0 0.5. Okay, uh, main scale, 8.5, yeah? So like everybody, 8.50 mm. Okay, what's your vernier scale? What's your second one, Lai? What's your second one? This is pointing at which one? This is pointing at, what number is this? Huh? 35, 36, 37. This is 37, 37 division. The 37th division that will be 0 0.37 mm. Okay. Is that all right? Okay, then we add up together. Lah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Like, so from here, we add ah, 8.50 mm plus 0 0.37 mm equals to 8. 8.87. 8.87. 8.7 Correct? Uh, Nicholas, yes, we need later, later. The next one actually. Now, now steady, we do step by step first. We don't care the zero error first. Then later we will minus, which is the next question. Huh? Is everybody all right so far? This is the proper way. Okay, this is the proper way of uh, getting the measurement from micrometer screw gauge. So that is 8.7 mm. So far, so good. Anybody need um, extra explanation? No? All good? Yes, me, me. Okay, like, uh, yes, correct, Pavira. This is not yet, not done with zero yet. We need to do later. So, Heather, which part they're not too sure? How to find the two numbers? Where's the two numbers? Huh? Which one are you talking about? You mean one, eh? this one, this one? The two. Okay, we do it again. Huh? We do it again. Huh? First, we need to look out for your main scale. Main scale is here. So main scale, one more time for everybody. Okay, this is 0, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5. This is where you stop. Do we have 9 here? Do, do we have nine? I don't see any lines here. So I think we stop at 8.5. Okay, 8.5. Is that right? Okay, huh? so there you go. First, 8.5. Okay, second, we need to look for vernier scale. Vernier scale, the, the secondary scale. Okay, this is 35, right? So look at the arrow now is pointing at this line. So what number is that header? Can you tell me? This is 35. What is the next two? Correct. 37. So one division is 0 0.01 mm. So you are at the 37th division. So 0 0.737. Sorry. 0 0.37. Is that all right, Heather? Then we do the math. Okay. What about other device? Uh, Nicholas, uh, I see if we have time later, we talk about that. Lah. Now we are doing this, so we continue this after. Ah, the, another device is also very similar. You need to look for main and uh, uh, vernier scale as well. Yeah, Nicholas. Is everyone all right so far? Okay. Now, do not forget this is with some problem. Uh. You're welcome, Heather. This is with some problem. Uh. You didn't minus yet, you know. So we need to minus the zero error. We need to find out the actual thickness. So the formula is very simple. The formula is uh, the measurement that we have 8.87 mm. This is the not correct one. Uh. Okay, we need to minus off zero error, which is what we have just now, negative 0 0.03 mm. Okay, so this is the measurement 
minus of zero error. Yeah. Okay. Very simple maths. Like minus and minus equals to plus. Right. You add up. Okay. So now become eight point eight seven plus zero point zero three. Like straightforward. Eight point eight seven plus zero point zero three. So that will be eight point. <laughs> eight point nine zero eighty seven plus three uh, eighty seven plus three uh. okay uh, so eh, what am i doing eight point nine zero mm is everyone all right okay uh, how to find vernier scale for zero error Pavitra, what uh how to find the vernier scale for zero error? Huh? Uh you mean this? How to determine zero? Oh, oh, oh that, I, I I thought I we mentioned this now here, Pavitra. You need me to do it again? I thought you asked the question just now. I showed you what uh. you need me to I was like, okay, I'll I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Okay. So, ready, Pavitra? Uh, IV 12, 12. Okay, so first of all, yeah, this line is pointing at this line. Supposedly, uh, if, the, if the measurement, the instrument, no problem, right? It should be zero here. It should be zero to the pointer. But look at this, the zero is here already. Okay? So that means you are pointing at this one. You're pointing at this one. So you need to find out what number is this. When zero is here, everything above is positive number. Everything below is negative number, isn't it? So in this case, I'm actually looking at negative one, negative two, negative three. That's it, Pavitra. So we are at negative three, mm uh, i mean 0 0.03 mm because every division is 0 0.1 so we're at the negative three so that will be uh 0 0.0 negative 0 0.03 okay all good probably try is that all right how to find uh, i didn't see any other question how to find the negative zero point i didn't see any of that in the question and this one that i just explained to pavitra uh heather 0 0.03 this one negative 0 0.03 that this one is that all right so if if it's a positive zero error if it's a positive zero error the the zero probably will be somewhere here no? then it's positive uh positive one positive two positive three so zero will be bottom Okay, Pavitra, is that all right? Zero will be here probably at the lower part. So then it will be positive one, positive two. Look at where it points at. Okay, all good. All right, cool. Uh, so is everyone clear with the calculation? No problem already? Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe we can look at maybe one more. If positive zero error is negative, positive zero error is negative, then... And... If positive zero error is negative and positive, right? If positive zero error, then you don't have to write negative or just positives. Uh, you want to write positive also can. You want to do positive 0 0.03 also can. Can also. But or else just, yeah, we will just do a positive to show that it's a positive. It's minus la. Oh, you mean calculation ah? Uh, yeah, lah, you go with the, the, the maths. Lah. So if this is minus positive 0 0.03, then it will be uh, minus. Lah. Minus uh, negative positive becomes negative. Yeah, correct. Okay. How about vernier caliper? Because my teacher in school didn't teach us about this. Uh, okay, I, I think um, I do have the part, but due to time constraint, uh, I think I want to get to another type of question. Uh, how about this, Pavitra? Uh, 
you do you have my contact of course you don't right pavitra are you are you from my class i have another pavitra are you the pavitra i know okay okay you text me you text me you text me about it i help you about it okay <laughs> see you're the you're the pavitra that i know okay okay cool right i think one more before we off for the day um, which is a type of graph question where was it okay so like you turn to this page please turn to page 21 question 7 page 21 question 7 21 now uh, we reverse a bit 21 okay all good all right so now scientific method okay okay you have to remember the steps that we have okay which is the investigation of your yeah i mean the report that you have to write so you have to memorize the steps so where do we have that we have it in your chapter one which is the last part of chapter one steps in in investigation okay now uh this one you will probably want to spend some time in memorizing the sequence it, it takes time so try your best to remember on that so for this case i think i'm gonna leave it to you is that all right you're referred to your short notes you're writing down so for instance the first one will be identify a problem always scientists start with this is because there's a problem if no problem there's no point we want to test it out correct or not if no problem okay now let's let's leave with it no problem got problem then we will try out like hey what did they want let's test so that's identifying a problem okay then uh following on by the the next one if you refer to this it will be uh, constructing a hypothesis so you get it right you all refer to your short notes finish up the steps for yourself yeah correct pavitra can uh, can do it on yourself yeah um then i think i want to go on for question b shall we okay can i get that okay everybody uh as i mentioned earlier on the answers will be in the website of uh ttc website of the seminar website where you get all the details there will be this column where you have to click uh into the answer sheet which is uh, i think seminar answer something like that there is this column where you can click in the website the the top part of the of the web uh, or the website you click that that will lead you into your gc and uh, no sorry i was thinking that will lead you into your uh google drive that's where all the link is i mean that's where all the answers is but for my answers uh not so soon maybe within next week not yet okay can you give me the link for ddc website please pavitra it's in the uh, whatsapp uh but anyways let me just find out the link one more time yeah, wait, uh, okay copy paste oh okay thanks thanks heather and thanks right okay cool yeah the, the one more specific you can get into uh you can get into the seminar page already yeah for everybody okay cool uh, but why there is eight box one there should be nine steps uh okay okay let's let's since we're here let's check out together so after identifying we have what uh, uh we have hypothesis right constructing hypothesis okay right all right cool next one what do we have after constructing hypothesis we have variables okay variables so controlling variables and then planning oh da, 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 da. yeah correct shu yan planning and carrying out together already this is two yeah 
uh necklace that's from Nick. yeah okay then everything else should be okay so then the next one after you plan and carry out experiment already then uh you will have data you have results so you collect your data so collecting data after you collect data you have result you have to analyze and hmm why like that one huh? so you have to analyze huh? so then the next one will be analyzing analyzing uh and interpreting and interpreting data okay so after you have uh, analyzed and you're like, okay, I, I think I get it. This experiment is successful, blah, blah, blah. You analyze your data. Then last, you make a conclusion. So ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of the experiment is blah, blah, blah. Okay. So then the next one, making a conclusion. And then write a report. That's the ninth step. I mean, eight, lah, but we have uh, here together. Huh? Okay. All good. Like. Five more seconds for you. We'll get to the next one. In SM, can write this symbol for N. Oh, you mean this one? Ah? Okay, sorry, cannot. <laughs> N. <clears throat> well, analyze these boxes and deduce that I must make my usually chubby handwriting. Yes, correct. That's a good conclusion, Heather. <laughs> Okay, uh, everybody can ask, uh, steady uh. Okay, like I drew the symbol also. Okay, like, no, uh, we do N in the alphabet. Okay, like next one. Problem statement. How does the length of pendulum influence the period of one complete oscillation? Do you know what's that? This is the one. Okay, okay, okay. The metal ball and let it swing. We calculate the time. Uh. So the, the question here is testing on length versus time. Have you tried that before? The longer it is, uh, the longer it is, uh, it takes longer time. Uh. Okay, uh, if it's shorter, it will. If it's longer, it will be. Okay, uh, so that's your result here. The longer it is, the longer time for 10 oscillation. You know what's oscillation? Oscillation is back and forth one time. That's called one oscillation. Back and forth oscillation 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 okay so like manipulated wow this one very primary school uh, 超重性变数, ladies and gentlemen actually free answer Ta -ta. free answer from table this is your manipulated which is how long it is 超重性变数, 超重性变数的思想就是我们在改编着的就是我们的长度, length okay that will be your manipulated ladies and gentlemen free answer okay all right so uh time taken for 10 oscillation that means to finish 10 oscillation that will be your responding variable responding variable ladies and gentlemen okay all good can you send me the shortest and exercise because i haven't registered so i didn't get it uh zachary um may i know uh, are you from catholic high school are you near to chs or are you near to gasing branch oh chs ah okay nice uh are you going back to school or are you staying home going back to school uh okay you know what zachary uh you can you can look for me if you are going back to school you can look for me on tuesday Tuesday, uh, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll try to find if we have extra. I give it to you. Uh, yeah, I, I find if got ex, uh, if got extra, you can't find me on Tuesday. I can give it to you. Tuesday, I'll be there since morning. I'll be teaching all the way to afternoon. I'll be there anyways. You can go to counter and you say you look for me. Look for you, Chin. Um, Put the CM and S. Must put the C. Oh, no need, no need, no need. You need, no need, no need, ah, no need, no need. Uh, not 10 complete oscillation. Um, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we follow this one. 10 complete oscillation. Correct, correct. 10 complete oscillation. Okay. Wait, did I miss out any question for uh, teacher Myron said it's time for taken for one complete. Oh, then if Pavitra, if you want to calculate one, uh, means you have to divide. Divide by uh uh divide by 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 ten. Divide by ten. Uh you can follow your teacher lock because your teacher says that then we follow what your teacher wants. Okay? So there'll be one oscillation. Yeah. Okay, Cao Zhong Sing is manipulated. Yes, uh Alethea, correct. Cao Zhong Sing manipulated. Responding will be your Fan Ying Sing Bian Su. Me, same class as Zachary. Oh, okay, Ryan and Zachary. Okay. Uh, cool. Is everybody all right so far? Constant variable, shall we? Okay. What must be constant? Gu ding xing bian shu. Remember, your answer must be something measurable. Must be something measurable. You know what's the meaning of measurable? It means something like you know length of a uh, size of a uh, mass of a uh, uh, temperature of you know something measurable. You cannot write like words that are not measurable so no matter how long this is something must be fixed here no matter this one short or this one long something must be fair correct the mass of pendulum like everybody the mass of pendulum okay so all good so just now your copy answer liao, uh, this one from here this one to here then your constant is mass of pendulum mass of pendulum type of pendulum can uh, uh cannot <laughs> cannot uh must be the mass i can use plastic i can use metal but the mass is very important okay mass is super i can use any material you want but i need to be the same mass uh doesn't matter cannot put weight ah uh, cannot put weight must put mass usually in science is always going to be mass yeah Oh good okay okay cool hey i tell you uh, your exam uh, the last question uh, i'm pretty sure there's this type of question one this is the last part of your chapter one and there's experiment for you so this i'm pretty sure the pendulum and you know these steps and drawing graph is something that you must know also okay okay so after you got the results here as you can see the longer the length the longer the time taken uh. okay uh. all right okay so uh, based on table 7, plot a graph for time taken for 10 complete uh, uh, oscillation against the length of pendulum. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, because drawing graph required some time, I'm not going to do the graph with you at the moment, but I have recorded a video to show how to draw a graph from A to Z. Okay? Uh, the, the video is in my YouTube. After this, when you are free, you can go to the YouTube and learn how to draw this graph with graph paper. Okay, so um, that's my YouTube channel name. You can go ahead and search it. You will see a title of this one. Okay, maybe I can copy to you now, then it's easier. Okay, your use graph paper. Uh. Okay, uh, your use graph paper. All good. Okay, how to draw? Uh, that will be in my YouTube. Your search. Actually, I send the link to you already. You can straight click into it. That will show you how to draw step by step. We, should, we won't waste time here. Must bring graph paper to exam. No, teacher will give you. Teacher will give you. Okay, no problem. Okay, so the next will be based on the graph. Okay, we'll skip the graph at the moment. Uh, the steps how to draw, I will teach in the video. You all please look for it and watch on yourself. Specifically for, uh, yeah. Specifically for this question, by the way. Okay, like next one. Based on the graph drawn, state the relationship between period of oscillation and its length. Okay, whenever you see this word, ladies and gentlemen, it's a the the sentence. Write this now. The 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 the. You you the 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 what? The what I highlight for you. The what I highlight for you. You wanna try and do it? If you want me to check, you can type to me. 
promoting channel <laughs> at the meantime yeah guys subscribe to my channel no, like, I actually I'm not very consistent <laughs> when I free only I can because I my schedule very tight so when I free I can make video yeah I'm not free so my channel is not very frequently on a uh, but you all can watch also oh by the way you all can do um you all can watch uh density video as well if you are because we're not talking about density today uh you all can go to my youtube channel and look for density those who want to know density how how to the whole topic you all can go to my youtube and and look for the density um video also okay the longer the length of envelope the longer the time taken for 10 oscillation all right that's a good answer that's a good answer uh at the meantime, if you want to check, I have example for you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, all good. Uh, what is graph? Eh? Oh, just now sorry, yeah, everything green, green color one. Yeah, correct, GK graph paper is everything green, green color one. You teach CHS? Oh no, no, I I don't. I teach in Jalan Gasing. Uh, TTC, TTC, uh, Teaching Center. Uh, your opening so chien da. <laughs> anyway, uh, I thought you were promoting a channel called Density LOL. Your editing not bad. Clap, clap. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I write as the Roseanne? That's a good answer as well. That's a good answer as well. Correct. The longer the length. Ui, this is who? This is Sing Ming. Eh. The longer the hello. This is the longer the length of the pendulum, the slower the time taken. Yep, all right, no problem. I would rather you all write uh, the shorter the period of oscillation or uh, the longer the, the period of oscillation because I follow this one, period, longer, uh, shorter period rather than slower time uh, singing. Uh, can I write more more? Uh, Zheng Kang, no, 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 more more the one. More more, uh, more more is a uh, lower level one. We, we upgrade a bit, we write. The one I show you. Don't write more more. Okay? More more. The longer the length, the longer the time taken for 10 complete. Okay, Pavitra, uh, we I suggest everybody use what is given here. Look, look at what I highlight. Don't uh uh don't change the words. Don't change the words. We follow here to be safe. We follow this, don't change the other words. The the adjective can change, the longer, shorter than one can. Longer, not encouraged. You mean a uh, longer time, Nicholas? Longer, shorter time. Okay. Uh. Period change to time. The one we follow period. We follow what question give. Uh. We follow what question give. The one change. Very risky. Some teacher very strict one. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I understand Pavitra. But uh, we follow usually relationship. I wouldn't want to change. What question give me here? Here. Huh? Ah, so I follow. That's the more accurate way. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Based on the graph, predict the time taken for 46. Ah, this one from the graph also. You all can watch from the graph. I show you the steps how to find at the 46. Basically, you draw there, right? At the 46, you have to do, 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 then you find the answer one. Oh, so you'll try on that. Yeah, so a, a glance of how the graph is, everybody, there you go. But you will learn it in the video. So I guess we are pretty much done. So what did I miss out today? I missed out density. Density will be in the my YouTube channel. Uh, and what did I miss out again? I missed out the graph. Graph will be in my YouTube channel as well. Okay, more or less like that. Uh, we don't have chapter 3, but we have chapter 3 short notes for you to read because we just done that recently. Yeah. So I think we are pretty much done for the day, right? Well, is everyone all right? I hope uh, you are okay and you learned something today. So as I mentioned, answers will be uploaded soon in the link, which I've sent to you, okay? The seminar starts at 10 a.m. Yes, yeah, Singing, you came in halfway, right? Vernier Caliper, GK, Vernier Caliper. I see if I could do a video on that. Uh, or I'll find something to help you. Uh, 6E, where does the point comes from? 6E. 
where the sorry which page uh, uh alicia um huh i came in 10 minutes ago yeah i know did you help answers for tuition module uh pavitra in in tutorial video i recorded tutorial video to do homework with you remember in your gc page 21 let me check out page 21 6 uh, 6 e uh where does this where does the points come from oh you mean four marks is it you assign to determine the purity of an alcohol explain how you will carry out uh the experiment and uh, uh, uh okay this one i could quickly show you okay this this i have to say it's a long one okay i could quickly show you for those who are interested um give me a moment Okay, so a quick one for everybody. If you are you are still okay to stay for a bit more, uh, or else uh, you can uh, go ahead and do what you need to do now. I'm gonna just explain a little bit more. Maybe two more minutes for everybody. Okay, so this is to determine alcohol purity. Uh. now to determine purity of something, right? We need to measure its uh, density. Yeah, it's a bit long. I show you. Uh, I show you first. Relax, everybody. Relax, relax, <laughs> relax, relax. Okay, relax, relax. So. Uh, measure the mass and volume of the alcohol sample because that gives you den density. Determine the density, okay, of the alcohol. Everybody, take a look in your chat box, okay. Uh, and then number three, compare the density of alcohol with the standard unit, a uh, standard density of alcohol. Well, the density can be found in your textbook of alcohol. The number then you compare. So we will have official one. Let's say I don't know zero point something. Then we do our own and count the density. If number four, everybody, if the density is equal to the standard density of pure alcohol, the one that you do is the same as the one that you look at your textbook, then it is pure. Okay, this is for page 21, question E. Anyways, I'll prepare the answers for you soon. Huh? Okay, this is for E answer. How to know something is pure? We look for the density. Actually, a lot of words, actually nothing fancy one. Think about this. We find the mass, we find the volume. We calculate the density. We compare our density to the density of the textbook. And then if it's the same, ding ding, correct. If it's not the same, wrong. Then that is not the pure alcohol that you obtain. Okay, all good. Yeah, this type of question will come in an exam. Pavitra, uh, density is something definitely you need to know. Yeah, but exactly this question come out or not, I'm not sure or maybe no. <laughs> okay, this rather are difficult questions here today. Okay, uh, you wrote all the notes yourself. Uh, yeah, la, yeah la, the notes I do myself. La. Okay, all good. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything else I can help? I guess. I don't want to hold you for too long. It's been two hours. You might be tired. Uh, if you have questions, you can stay. I can answer. If uh, or else, I guess I will see you guys around. Okay. Good luck to your exams and stay safe, everybody. Bye bye. See you. See you. Those who want to ask questions, you can stay. I can still answer your questions. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>